Isaiah 30, 15 says, In repentance and rest is your salvation, and quietness and trust is your strength. Isaiah 30, 15. In repentance and rest is our salvation. When we look to the cross, we can see that Jesus Christ, the God-man, sacrificed himself on behalf of our sins and to offer a way by which we can enter through to God. I love A.W. Tozer's quote on this. He says that salvation is a gateway in to God. And we can rest in the finished work that happened on Calvary all thanks to the Lord Jesus Christ. We don't have to work for it. We don't have to do a certain amount of good works and hope we get into heaven. It is solely based upon what God did that we can go to live with God after this life. And so what follows with that is repentance. Those who have genuine faith will have repentant faith. A repentance is a change of heart. It's a renewing of mind. It's, it's a revealing of the, the power of the Holy Spirit within us and His sanctifying work. We naturally, as wicked men we and women, we are not going to repent of anything. We're going to think that we're always right. We're going to think that there's no such thing as sin. We're not going, going to repent and confess our sins to God unless the Holy Spirit is there. So when the Holy Spirit is there and we have this inner desire to repent to God when we sin and truly be sorrowful over our sins, we can rest assured that we have the Holy Spirit because it's the Holy Spirit within us that leads us to repentant faith in the first place. Now looking at the second part of Isaiah 30:15, In quietness and trust is your strength. In quietness and trust is your strength. We here in America especially, we are always so consumed with the busy life. We need to be busy, busy, busy. We always have to be going. And during this time of the coronavirus especially, the every busyness that we could think of has come to a halt. And right now we have an opportunity to be quiet. And it is impossible to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit when we constantly are working, listening to other people, have our earbuds in, and have the television on. We cannot hear the Holy Spirit. It's not until those things are shut off that we can have the quietness within our solitude. And it's there when God is able to speak and, and not only speak, because He's speaking all the time, but we're able to actually hear what He is saying to our souls. And with that, um, comes trust. So quietness and trust is our strength. We can trust the Lord that not only are we forgiven of our sins based upon what Christ did, but we can trust that when we truly are walking in repentant faith and we, we know that we're saved only by grace through faith, then we can have trust in Him that He is going to protect us. When we enter into a relationship with the Heavenly Father, we can trust that He truly has the best for us and He's going to take care of our every need. He takes care of the birds of the sky. He takes care of um, all His creation. But the entire planet and structure of the solar system and our universe all that compared to just one of us, one soul, it doesn't even compare. God loves one soul much more than his entire creation of the universe. So when we are quiet and walking in repentant faith and understand we are saved only by Christ's blood, we can then have trust that God truly is going to take care of us. He sees all, He knows all, He's omniscient, He knows what could, would, and will happen. He's beyond our finite thinking and we can know that His ways are not our ways and His thoughts are not our thoughts, meaning ours are so compressed um, into an infinitesimal um, abstraction based compared to God 
what we think is very limited compared to our limitless God, who's not confound by anything. He's got unlimited wisdom. He knows everything. He's all-powerful. And yet he sees each one of us individually as if we were the only person on the planet. And he loves us and he will take care of us. And we need to trust that since he created everything and he knows how everything operates, his ways are beyond what we can even comprehend. So we need to be quiet and still trying to listen to his voice, but we need to also truly trust, not just have head knowledge about what has just been said, but to have it dwelling within our hearts, having us truly believe and walk each day, not worried about circumstance or tribulation, but knowing that the God of life itself sees us and he will take care of us. And through quietness and trust, we find our strength in him. His strength is always there, readily available. But it's up to us if we're going to actually take the initiative to walk in repentant faith, believe that Christ's blood has covered all our sins, to take time to be quiet and listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit, and to trust that God Almighty in heaven sees all, knows all, and loves all. And he is going to do everything he can to see us through to fulfilling his will. There will be suffering involved. There's no doubt about it. But through that suffering, there will be a supernatural peace and there will be purpose. And as long as we're following Christ, we can rest assured that um, he is working in and through us each and every day. And if we heed the call and have that inner desire to grow in him, we will rest in our salvation and we will rest in the strength of God Almighty, who is our rock and our refuge.